So if you're online and love showing off your work, you may have seen this trend, a unique scrapbook style collage of images played as a video for a reel or TikTok. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do this in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get straight into it. So these are the images I'm going to use. Just drag all of these into Adobe Premiere Pro. Now change your sequence settings to 1080 by 1920. This will be perfect for both Instagram and TikTok. Okay, I'm gonna start with this first image. Scale it until it fits the frame. Now it's time to bring in the next photo, but I'm only going to add a certain section from the photo. I'm going to add the outline of the person, then the rest of the photo will come in after like this. Now rescale this photo and then copy and paste it underneath by holding down either the Alt or the Option key and drag it under. Now just hide the clip underneath by pressing this icon here. And now we're going to draw a mask around the person on the top clip selected. Make this 50% to get a better view of the mask and zoom in to get a more precise mask. Now we have them cut out and we have something like this. It will now look like this when you play. I'm going to bring this in a little more and the bottom clip we will drag this further away. And make sure you can see it by turning this back on and it should look like this. That's basically how it works. So now we'll repeat the process and get a little more creative with it. The good thing about this technique is finding a cool subject in your photos that you can mask around and get creative with. In the next photo, I'll use this one and I can cut out the sky here to bring in the next photo. So I'll put this here, duplicate it again and cut off one of the duplicates. Now repeat the same with the mask and draw around a section. I'm going to draw around the car here. Now hide this top layer and drag this back a little bit. And you can of course adjust the timings of them to make it flow a little better. Okay, now say I want to add maybe a photo coming from underneath this one, maybe the reflection. Duplicate it again and bring it to the point where you want the photo to come in. Draw a mask and now you'll see nothing comes in because you have the same clip below. So just shorten all the ones below this and you'll see this. Now invert the mask and you'll see there's nothing. So now you can add your other photo below this and I'll use this one and you'll see the mask needs a bit of an edit. So I'll just add some feathering and expansion. And a good tip here is if you still see a lot of the background from the subject you want to mask, lower the mask expansion until it's gone like this. You can also do this to the other ones at the end. I'm just going to show you this one now to show you that it looks good. And then after a couple of frames, just delete this top one and it will show the rest of the photo. So now I'll just do the same to the rest and I'll speed this bit up. Now I have my final product. I changed a few photos in the meantime. Now I'm gonna go through each mask and just smoothen the feathering and expansion so it looks much nicer. Now highlight all of these, right click and click nest. And now it's all one clip. Don't worry if you decide you want to change it again, just double click the nested sequence and then it will open a new window and you can do all of your adjustments and then simply close this and it will have updated the nested sequence. Now you can speed it up. I'm going to speed it up a little bit to 120. So there you go. It's a really nice cool effect that you may have seen on Instagram or TikTok that people have been doing and now you can too. It's a great way to show off your photography with a nice little twist. Remember to add some music over it and post it as a reel. This is going to look great on your profile. So there we go, I hope that's helped you. If it has, let me know in the comments section below. And if you'd like to see more tutorials just like this, or if there's something you'd like us to teach you how to create, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next Premiere Pro video up here. So give that a watch next.